Thank you for tuning in with New Life Ministry. Um, today we're going to study on Romans, Romans 8, chapter 8. Uh, if you got your Bibles, turn to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. I got the. Uh, well, I'm sorry, let's go to Galatians 5. Galatians 5. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. It's in the New Testament. Uh, just take a minute of your time today. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I try to do a, a weekly broadcast. Uh, just bear with me. I'm trying to get some stuff set up. Uh, but turn to Galatians 5. Galatians 5 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty with all Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Verse 2 says, Behold, I, Paul, say unto you, that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to, to the whole law. Christ has become no effect to him whosoever of you are justified by the law. You are fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit, verse 5, we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Verse 6 says, For Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Verse 7 You did run well. Who did hinder you that you not obey the truth? Verse 8, This persecution cometh not of him that calleth you. Verse 9, Pay close attention to this verse. A little leaven leavened the whole lump. Verse 10, I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever it be. Verse 11, And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then as an offense to the cross ceased. Verse 12, I would that ye were all cut off which trouble you. Verse 13 says, For brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love serve one another. I want to come at you with something today. Sometimes we look at Jonah. Jonah was on a ship. God had told Jonah some, to do something. Things got in Jonah's way. Uh, sometimes things get in our way. Um, sometimes we don't understand what's hindering us. Who's hindering us? Who we're around. Sometimes when you're hanging around a crowd, the old saying is, you hang around dogs, you'll wake up with food. Otherwise, if we studied nature, nature would say something like this. If you hang around blue birds, you become blue birds. If you hang around certain crowds, you become that crowd. So Jesus said, come out from amongst the world and be yourself. 
Today we got to find Christian people, and sometimes that's a good question. You say, Reverend, I go to church. All there is there is gossip. There's people that just want to gossip about such and such. The Bible tells us that you'll know them by the fruit they bear. And if they're not bearing love, peace, joy, kindness, meekness, then don't hang around such. But you'll know them by the fruit they bear. Be careful who you hang with. Be careful who you associate yourself with. It can affect your destiny. It can affect where you're going with God. It can be a hindrance to you. So be careful who you hang with. And that's what Paul was talking about in Galatians. What hinders you? Some things that are flesh that we want hide ourselves up in two, otherwise for, for to speak, if you was a drunk, God wouldn't call you to go minister in no bar anytime soon. I'm not saying he wouldn't never. But it wouldn't be the same time. So be careful who you hang with. I encourage you this week, be careful. This is Reverend Jason Lepper and Penny. God bless you.